Okay, friends, so we were on handout 6H. You should be on the back of handout 6H right now because what you see on this slide is on the back of handout 6H. Okay, so we're going to figure out how to write our topic statement. It says a topic statement should clearly state the main or essential idea of the paragraph, answer the prompt question, for example, how did the Nez Perce homeland sustain or shape the way Nez Perce children played and include one or two points. So this has two points. What two points does the author make about children's play in this paragraph? And they're making two points. So I'm not writing on the slide, I'm writing in my workbook. You're writing in your workbook. What does the author want us to know about children's play? So the first thing that they have in their paragraph after this topic, it says, the Nez Perce used materials available on the land to make toys. So that's our point one. So in my workbook, I'm writing point one, They used materials on their homeland to make toys. That's one point. So I'm looking back at my paragraph again so they told me that, and then they gave me an example, and I talked about the resources again. So that's one thing they said about children's play. And then if I look at the very bottom of 6H, it says play was also an important way that children learned how to rely on their homeland to survive. So play was an important way that children learned how to rely on their homeland to survive. So the other point that they're making is um, playing taught them how to survive. All right. So now I have to take these two sentences and combine them together to make my topic statement for this missing topic statement. At the bottom it says, remember, a topic statement clearly states the essential idea about a topic and addresses the prompt question. Reread the paragraph and compose a topic statement that meets these criteria and includes both of the writer's points, point one and point two above. So my friends, look at the prompt question again, and it's underlined. It says, how did the Nez Perce homeland sustain or shape the way Nez Perce children played? So I need to restate and answer that. So let's see, where should I start? Um, the Nez Perce homeland. I'm copying the question, but I'm making it into a sentence now. The Nez Perce homeland sustained or shaped the way Nez Perce children played by, and I'm gonna look back at my point one. It says they use materials on their home and to make toys by the Nez Perce homeland sustained or shaped the way Nez Perce children, the way Nez Perce children played, 
played by using materials on their homeland to make the toys and this is a very long sentence the Nez Perce homeland sustained or shaped the way Nez Perce children played by using materials on their homeland to make the toys and it says playing taught them how to survive and teaching them how to survive. Okay, friends, we have our sentence. You can replay this so that you can get your sentence written down in your workbook. Because now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to slide six and in that yellow box, you're going to type the topic sentence that you wrote at the bottom of handout 6H. So please finish your sentence and go ahead and type that sentence on slide six now. Good job.